Colombian artist Shakira has achieved a lot in her 22 years at the pinnacle of her career, including multiple honors, multiple number one hits, and the title of Queen of Latin Music. She might not have much more to do. Over the course of the last 40 years, the 46-year-old has become well-known for songs including Waka Waka, this time for Africa, Hips Don't Lie, and Beautiful Liar. Her time in the spotlight has also touched her romantic life. Before their June 2022 breakup, the singer spent 11 years together with former Barcelona and Spain defender Gerard Pique. Together, Shakira and Pique have two children. The former Barcelona favourite is currently married to Clara Ciamatti. Pique, 36, is regarded as one of the best defenders of all time, but things haven't been easy for him since their breakup. Last year, he withdrew from the game after falling down the hierarchy at the new camp. In addition, his business interests have suffered, and his former partner has been harassing him non-stop. Among them was a song she wrote that took home the best pop song trophy at this week's Latin Grammy Awards in Seville. Shakira BZRP Music Sessions, Vol. 53, is the music in question. Peak has been referred to as a diss track. The lyrics, which featured the line, I'm too good for you and that's why you're with someone just like you, also made reference to Peak's alleged trade-ins of a Ferrari for a Twingo and a Rolex for a Casio, directed at his current girlfriend of 24 years old, Clara Chia. To make matters worse, Sergio Ramos, Peak's former Spanish teammate, who formed a strong partnership with him during La Roja's 2010 World Cup and 2012 Euros, presented the prize. After Shakira agreed to pay a £6.4 million fine to settle a tax fraud case in Spain, Ramos then posed with his arm around her. This led to the singer's lawyer suggesting she would have saved herself more than £100 million if she had fell in love with the former Real Madrid star instead of Peak. Shakira, who relocated to Miami from Barcelona following their breakup, thanked her supporters for their support after winning the aforementioned prize, taking a sly jab at Peak in the process. She added, I also want to share this, the awards, with my Spanish public. You have supported me during good times and bad especially during trying times. Peak was also embarrassed last month when, during the opening of his Kings League Americas competition, a seven-a-side league he founded, he tumbled down a hole by the stage. Meanwhile, Peak's second business endeavor failed miserably, even if the Kings League was successful when it was first established in Spain. Peak made a $3 billion, 2.4 billion pounds, over 25-year bid to the International Tennis Federation, ITF, in 2018 to take over the Davis Cup, which is essentially the Tennis World Cup. He introduced a new model that caused controversy among the tournament's more devoted supporters, and a number of its main sponsors resigned as well. The new format was not well received, and participation from other well-known players was limited. The firm Peak established Cosmos, reportedly lost tens of millions of dollars on the 2019 event alone, and as a result, struggled to justify the expenditure. Peak, an avid sports enthusiast who looks up to Rafa Nadal, witnessed the contract fall through in January. According to the Times, the former Barcelona player is currently engaged in a legal dispute with the ITF at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Fans are wondering if Shakira has cursed Peak because of all the misdemeanors he has experienced. This follows rumors from fans that the singer, who moved to start a new life with her two kids after leaving Barcelona earlier this year, had a history of curses. For instance, Spain fared terribly in the 2022 World Cup and lost to Morocco in the round of 16, forcing them to leave the competition. Despite controlling 77% of the play, La Roja was unable to break through before losing on penalties. Spain had a humiliating exit, failing to even score a spot kick.
Renowned psychic Moni Vidente declared after the competition that she was hired by the Colombian musician to perform a ritual on Luis Enrique's behalf. Shakira's curse, which she placed on the Spanish team, was the one that proved to be effective, Vidente told Marca magazine. Shakira, the ceremony you compensated me for, was designed to hinder their success, she continued. Shakira insisted that her first priority was taking care of her family, dismissing claims that suggested she had a new lover. I asked the media to stop the speculation out of respect for my children and the vulnerable moment they are going through, the woman stated. I dedicate my entire being to my children and their well-being. I have no partner. Additional tidings about Shakira's purported curse originate from her ex-mom-in-law. According to reports, the singer, who lived across from Peak's mother, Montserrat Bernabeu, allegedly placed a witch-like mannequin on her balcony. It turns out that Bernabeu's house, which was also mentioned in Shakira's disrap, is directly across from her Barcelona residence. Reporters in Barcelona were informed by Bernabeu that a doll resembling a witch, complete with a conical hat, wild grey hair, and black clothing, was propped up on Shakira's terrace. According to reports from Spain, Bernabeu had apparently urged Shakira to move the statue or flip it around, because he thought it would be used for evil purposes, like casting a curse on her. According to a local reporter from Barcelona, the artist's ex-mother-in-law was concerned that the singer was using the doll for other purposes. Marc Lerado Milan stated, I learned a few weeks ago that Peek's mother was concerned about a supposed ritual that was performed on her with a black witch. I went to verify if this information was true after initially dismissing the claims, and sure enough, there was a life-size black witch with a white beard. It begs the issue of whether Peek, the former defender, is the most recent victim of Shakira's supposed curse in light of these stories surrounding her mother and Spain's poor performance at the World Cup last year.